Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've broken YouTube and in the past we've broken Steam. But today, we're going to be breaking Steam to an all new level. I'm going to accidentally be demonstrating a way to farm Steam keys and then sell them for a gigantic profit. This is completely broken, 100% not perfectly balanced, and dear God, please, I need someone to stop me and help me. This is the worst Steam exploit that has ever touched the platform, and my goodness is it not absolutely fantastically perfectly balanced. Money laundering. So strap your yourselves in, grab a cup of tea, because this is going to be one heck of a bumpy video. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ignoring all of these new fangled games that are really fun with innovative new ideas, and instead I'm going to be showing off how to exploit Steam and EA in order to destroy their payment mechanism and basically get a whole bunch of games without actually paying for them. Now, doesn't that sound perfectly balanced and completely unfair? Yes, that's because it is. Valve, please, for goodness sake, fix this. I can't believe you didn't see this one coming. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go take a look at this brand new exploitative feature. Now, the feature that we're exploiting today, ladies and gentlemen, is the lovely and wonderful EA Play. It's a service which has been available for EA for quite a while now, but it's recently been released to Steam. Now, what exactly is it? Well, it's a monthly subscription service where you basically pay a small amount each month or over a year to gain access to basically all of the EA games. It's not too expensive and the games can be quite good, so, you know, it might work out saving you a fair bit of money. However, we're not here to save ourselves a bit of money. We're here to spend basically no money <laughs> and gain a whole bunch of games for free. So how on earth are we going to do it? Now, in order to get this exploit started, we need to sign ourselves up for EA Play. Luckily for us, until March the 9th, EA Play is only 80 pence. I'm pretty sure that's one dollar or something. It's exceedingly cheap. However, you will be billed four pounds monthly every time thereafter. However, for the purposes of this exploit, we're going to be spending spending the ATP and then immediately cancelling it. But of course I hear you saying, Spiff, surely this is a terrible idea. You spend ATP to gain access to these games and then you only have access to them as long as you're paying the monthly subscription. And yes, technically that's the way the system's meant to work. It makes sense as a concept. It's a subscription-based service where you get the games provided you're paying the subscription. As soon as you cancel the subscription, you lose your games. But what if that didn't happen? <laughs> oh no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to subscribe up monthly for good old EA Play. That's right. It's only 80p. Look at that. It's brilliant. Nice and cheap. So I'm going to buy this bad boy for myself. This is where the fun begins because we can now get started on EA Play. Every single one of these games we can press add to library. And that's right. This game gets immediately added to our glorious Steam library. So let's add a couple of games. We're going to add Dead Space 2. We're going to add, oh, Mass Effect 2. Why not? Well, we're here we'll also add in, oh, good old The Sims 3, and my personal favourite, of course, Spore, which is for some reason in the strategy section. Oh, yes, famous grand strategy game, Spore. Oh, God. And you know what, whilst I'm also here, I'll pick up good old Crisis 2, because it's a fun game. Oh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Oh, but let's not forget the greatest game of all, ladies and gentlemen. It's goddamn Peggle Deluxe. <laughs> what the heck is this? I'm spending 80p to gain access to this. Oh, it looks incredible. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, this is going straight into my library. Thank goodness I don't have to spend £4.25 to buy Peggle Deluxe, but instead I have it on my account already. There we go, it's now mine. So as you can see up here, ladies and gentlemen, are all of the games that I've added via EA Play. These are effectively the games that I've spent ATP in order to have them in my library. Now, of course, I'm interested in having these games forever, so how on earth do we get these games forever? Well, the thing is, basically, a long while ago, EA and Steam had to set up a way of allowing players to still access the online content of Spore because EA decided to move the servers around. Because they had to do this process, basically, if you bought a copy of Spore on Steam, you also gained access to a key which would allow you to claim Spore on an Origin account. Now, this makes sense. Basically, you buy Spore, you get it on two platforms. That's great. It's a really nice feature, 11 out of 10. The only downside is that it's broken. <laughs> and allow me to demonstrate why. We're going to set up ourselves a brand new EA Origin account. Okay, so now we actually need to set up a brand new Origin account because I'm not going to use my actual Origin account because I already have EA Play on it. So we need to make a brand new one. So, of course, date of birth, uh, it's got to be January the 1st, uh... 
1896, that seems perfectly acceptable. And for the country that I'm going to be in, well, it's got to be none other than the actual home of World of Warcraft. I'm, of course, talking about the British Virgin Islands. Perfect, let's make this account. Email address, uh, well, we're going to use actually one of my favorite email addresses that I've stored up this entire time. It is, of course, Todd at Bethesda.co. Don't ask how I managed to gain control of the Todd Howard email account, but um, it happened. Anyway, there we go. We're going to gain the account Todd Howard. Oh, apparently Todd Howard's ready in use. Todd Howard 69. Someone's using Todd Howard 69. Todd Howard for 2069. There we go. First name Todd. Last name Howard. Brackets best game designer in the universe. There we go. Password, of course, we're going to go for the greatest password of all, which is Todd Howard 69. There we go. It's the best password. Oh, God. What is this account? Of course, we need to come up with an incredible security question. So for that, it's going to be, where did you go for your honeymoon? Todd, of course, famously went to Skyrim for his honeymoon when he used his incredible money from Fallout 76 to build an entire one-to-one -one scale replica of Skyrim just off of the coast of Iceland. What's this? Allow game to find me by email. <gasps> Oh no, we definitely can't have that. Anyway, let's create this account. And there we go. Welcome, Todd Howard 42069. Let's get gaming, ladies and gentlemen. So say hello to our brand new account. At the moment, our entire library is completely and utterly empty. We have no games in here. However, this is where something interesting can happen. Because as I mentioned earlier, a lot of old EA games give you keys so that you can also access them on Origin. Now remember, we now own this copy of Spore. We don't have it downloaded but because we have EA Play, we now technically have a copy of it. So interestingly, if we want to take this from being a temporary copy, we can get a permanent copy by right-clicking on it, going to Manage and CD Keys. Here we have an incredible product key which we can copy to our clipboard. We can go on over to Origin, add a game, redeem a product code, and enter in a product code for Spore. Yeah. You can probably see the issue here. <laughs> and there we go. We've just redeemed a copy of Spore. It's been added to our library and we can download it. The issue is, this stays forever because we got it via a product key for a game that we only temporarily own. This can be done for a huge amount of games like the good old Sims Free here. We can claim ourselves a Sims Free key. Heck, we can even claim the Sims Free pets. Then all we have to do is go on over to Origin, deposit our key, and would you look at that, we now own the Sims Free. This is an incredible game one of the greatest games in existence, and it would normally cost you £18 to buy. We've just got this bad boy for 80p, and we keep it forever. We also get the Pets DLC. How much is the Pets DLC again? That's another £18. Oh my god, we have almost £40 worth of games here, which we just paid 80p for. This doesn't seem perfectly balanced at all. Now, what about Mass Effect 2, one of the greatest cinematic experiences in video games? Well, guess what? It's also £18 on Steam, but if we get a CD, key for it. That's right, we can just copy a straight up digital deluxe game key here, hop on over to Origin and add the game. And would you look at that, we now own Mass Effect 2 Digital Deluxe Edition. Now, why is this kind of broken? Well, the reason it's completely and utterly broken is because it allows you to buy games for a lot less than what they should actually be worth, and technically you're able to give these games to anyone. My Origin account here is not linked to my Steam account. I technically own these games on two separate accounts that aren't linked. Now, this creates a bit of a problem because there's no check on me actually playing these games. I technically own them, which means I can spend 80p to gain access to EA Play, gain access to all of these lovely keys here, and then I can give them to anyone. Because I already own basically all of these games, heck, I'm pretty sure I own about seven copies of Spore because people keep sending them into my goddamn P.O. box for some unknown cursed reason. I can just give the key away for free. But the worst thing is, I don't need to give it away for free. Allow me to welcome you to what is effectively one of the scummiest websites on the universe. It's G2A, ladies and gentlemen, the marketplace for selling all of your illegal pirated games. Do you own some kind of Russian hacking firm? Have you hacked into an indie game developer? Would you like to resell all of those keys for huge profits? Welcome to G2A! Oh goodness, what a website. The last time I made a G2A video, I received a very angry cease and desist email from them. But hey, we're back to demonstrate one of the issues with this 
Steam exploit. Because as I mentioned, we have all of these game keys and G2A allows anyone to sell video game keys. So what would happen if we were to say, I don't know, sell ourselves a copy of Dead Space 2? We have a CD key here for it. We can redeem this key on Origin. It's a game that costs 18 pounds, but of course, what happens if we were to sell it? Well, we can sell this key for an incredible profit because guess what? It's going on Origin for two pounds. That's right, it is two pounds. Now, here's the issue. We spent 80p gaining access to EA Play. EA Play has given us access to a whole bunch of video game keys. We can then immediately cancel EA Play, which only cost us 80p, and then we can keep all of the keys that it gave us and sell them for profit. Now, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that that is not its intended function and that, dear God, this is completely and utterly broken. Honestly, bugger me sideways with a tea bag. This is absolute insanity. And the thing is, we know people are actually pulling off this exploit. I'm amazed EA hasn't noticed because if you go onto the G2A website, you can see that the going rate for a Steam key of Dead Space 2 is 10 pounds, but a going rate for a Dead Space 2 key for Origin, it's only two pounds. I wonder why that might be the case. Is it because you can get it for a stupidly cheap price? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, the issue is you can effectively buy EA Play, then cancel EA Play immediately and buy it again, giving yourself an infinite quantity of unlimited keys to either use or to give to people or to sell. I mean, at this point, I could pull off the exploit so many times that I could give every single person who liked this video a copy of Peggle Deluxe. Oh, dear God. <laughs> So yes, congratulations, if you like this video, you have now been cursed with the burden that is your very own copy of Peggle Deluxe. I'm terribly sorry. There's nothing I can do to save you. That copy is yours forever, and there really is no cure for Peggle Fever. My goodness, what a game. Now the thing is, this technically means you have an infinite quantity of keys, because it only costs 80p to open up an account, opening up a Steam account is free, and then you can sell the keys for profit online. So effectively, the Steam Origin exploit is inadvertently an infinite money cycle of death. Because every time you pull off this exploit, you're turning a profit, probably in the tens of pounds. If we say it takes an hour to set up a Steam account and harvest all of the keys for the games that you want to sell and then list them on G2A, then chances are if you were pulling this off full time, you'd be able to maybe make 30 pounds an hour, which is actually a surprisingly good wage. <laughs> this exploit shouldn't exist. This is not the way Steam or Origin intended it to be used. For goodness sake, please fix it. Why did none of you see this coming. Oh goodness. <laughs> I've covered Steam exploits before, but this is straight up one of the most insane and terrifying Steam exploits in existence. Also, Valve, please, can you not ban me for exposing this one? It was very clear that people were doing this and you should have fixed it. I understand that you suspended my PayPal account for what was effectively money laundering with TF2 keys, but please, don't remove one of my few remaining non vac ban Steam accounts. I need it. Oh, goodness. Now I guess all that's left is for me to calculate just how broken this exploit is exactly, as I'm going to basically add every single EA Play game to my Steam library and I'll work out which ones give keys. As soon as we work out that quantity, we can then work out how much money an entire EA Play library is worth. So let's go find it out. Well, I did the maths and uh, this is more broken than I was ever expecting. Dear God, it's, um, it's insanity. So here's basically the list of all of the games which you can get keys for. Dead Space 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Crisis, Crisis 2, Dragon Age Origins, Mass Effect 2, Medal of Honor, Airborne, The Sims 3, Sims 3 Pets, Spore, and also there was Mass Effect 1. Now, Mass Effect 1 and Medal of Honor Airborne don't actually have any listings for their games on Origin, so I had to vaguely predict and say that you could probably sell them for £2 each, but who knows what they'd actually end up going for. But yes, I calculated just how much money if you were to sell every single Steam key that you get for just an investment of 80p on Steam. If you sold them all on G2A, you would get yourself £31.37. Oh, dear oh dear oh dear. This is not the way that it should be working. This is evidently very broken. I'd even go as far as to say that in my time this is potentially a larger exploit than the entire release of No Man's Sky. And trust me that thing was one hell of a release. This is beyond perfectly balanced. This is beyond broken. And of course I absolutely love it. Ladies and gentlemen this has been one hell of an exploit. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. We've broken YouTube, we've broken Steam and we 
we've broken Origin. Heck, we've pretty much also broken every single video game in existence. So, I mean, at this point, what's even left? Oh god, not the stock market. Why do you keep asking me to find exploits in the stock market? Oh god. <laughs> Please, just leave me alone and worship Daddy Elon in peace. You don't need my advice on the stock market. But yes, nonetheless, it is on the way. I'm working on my stock market is perfectly balanced video. Who knows, it might even be able to print you free money in the same way that this bad boy does. But nonetheless, all of that will have to be for another time. And heck, if you want to be there for that time, you can even subscribe. That way you'll be infinitely bombarded when the time inevitably rolls around for me to break the actual fabric of reality itself. You can even be on the side of internet users that survive my inevitable snap when I destroy most of reality. This is, of course, a service that is unavailable if you are a coffee drinker. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did, of course, enjoy it, you can like the video. Heck, you can dislike the video. Heck, you can even go on down to the comment section and tell me what you're going to be doing in Peggle Deluxe when you inevitably have bought your 747th copy of it. Or you can just do what everyone else will probably be doing and going down to the comment section and commenting something along the lines of, wow, imagine not commenting Steam is perfectly balanced. This is 100% going to end up on trending. So yeah, you could do that. Anyway, as always, thank you very much to all of our lovely Majestic Patreons. And heck, if you want to see another video like this, I've got a few that you're going to absolutely love. I've got all of my previous Steam exploit videos where we've broken most of the Steam summer sales, as well as also I've got a lovely exploit for G2A where we completely broke the loot box mechanic system to farm infinite games for free. Yeah, that was a particularly broken time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Spiffing Brit and I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now.